YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We under the Washington Commanders video, and in today's video, I'm coming on here with a video where we're gonna be talking about available tight ends that the Washington Commanders should possibly look at. So, without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you can notify when I upload a video about the NFL. Or in this case, how Washington Commanders want to roll to 6,000 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So, as we know, the Washington Commanders, there yesterday we got some unfortunate news that their tight end, Armani Rogers, sustained a Achilles injury. Now, I still don't know the, the confirmed diagnosis of the injury, but it is likely that he will be out for the remainder of the year, which sucks. It's a huge blow to this team because we definitely had high hopes for Armani Rogers this year. I even potentially thought he could take over the tight end one room from a guy like Logan Thomas. So it definitely creates some sort of hole in Washington's tight end group. But does it create a hole big enough to where they should have should they have to go sign a free agency guy? Personally, no. I don't think so. One, because there aren't really no good tight end players out there on the free agent market. Two, the sale is going on, so no players will be getting signed or extended because of that. And then three, we still got some really, really good guys in this tight end group. Now, obviously, we thought Armani Rodgers had the most upside because of what he provided for us last year. And we was very excited about it. But it's still guys like Cole Turner, still guys like Logan Thomas exist, and Jesse Bates, or not Jesse Bates, John Bates. Who, are, who is solid, and obviously Curtis Hodges um, is another good name that could potentially be um, on the lookout. We're going to be expecting big things from those guys now, because now that Amani Rodgers isn't here, you have to step up. One of these guys has to step up. I would say even two of these guys have to step up. Logan Thomas, for sure, for sure, has to step up because he's still tight at one and he's the veteran presence in that group. But really, I'm looking at Cole Turner and Curtis Hodges being the guys that need to step up because those are the guys that we thought really had good chances. Right, obviously, again, Monty Rogers was the was the one that we was looking at to make that extra leap. But uh, Cole Turner, we spent a draft pick on him last year. Okay, so we we really thought this guy out of Nevada, this six six guy, this red zone threat with really good hands, was gonna be that beast for us. And last year, he was really much and pretty much injury real, and then he didn't really see no action. So this is gonna be a huge year for him uh, to see if we got something with him. So I need Cole, Cole Turner to step up a lot. Curtis Hodges. Um, another guy that I, that I was intrigued with his performance and you know in the preseason um, and in training camp last year he was a guy that was really lighting it up um, and you, you remember Amani Rogers was really only he only got his opportunity because it was so we were so banged up at tight end last uh, last season prior to the season starting that he was lighting it up in training camp and stuff like that so he that's the reason why he got his opportunity it was really supposed to be like Curtis Hodges or something like that that really um was to get the shine, but injuries happen. So now with Amani Rogers injured, we need one of these guys to step up. Again, I say two, but really one to really break away and be like, all right, I'm I'm a new guy. You know, obviously until Amani Rogers can get thrown back in the mix next season. Um, how confident am I in Logan Thomas to return to that 2020 shape? I think a lot of what Logan Thomas downfall was it was his injuries and more specifically Scott Turner not using him. He had the lack of tight ends uh, that he um, used in his offense. He didn't really use him at all. Uh, 2020 was a really good year for Logan Thomas, and I think this has, has a chance to be a better year. If he can stay healthy, if EB can draw up some things for his tight ends, which I think he does well. Obviously, look at what they did in Kansas City with Travis Kelsey. You know, I'm not saying Logan Thomas or none of these tight ends are in the same ballpark as Travis Kelsey, but I'm just talking about the usage of of the tight ends that Eric Bieniemy uh, and the Chiefs offense did last year, and it's time there. I'm excited for what Logan Thomas can now be under him, because I think Logan Thomas still could be a pass catcher. You know, he can be that reliable pass catcher. He's not gonna be a rat guy. He's not gonna be getting you a 25 run out, 25 yards run out the catch. He's gonna be a guy that's gonna catch the ball middle of the field, get you about five, six, seven, eight yards a catch, a touchdown in the red zone, being a red zone threat. That's all you really ask from a 31 year old Logan Thomas, rough for real. Um, Cole Turner is who I'm looking at specifically. I know I keep breaking him up, but that's the guy who I'm looking at. Even more so than Amani Rogers. Like, yeah, Amani Rogers showed more promise than all these guys besides, you know, obviously Logan Thomas being a bad. I'm talking about the young guys. He showed the more promise last year, but we spent the 
pick on Cole Turner in the past draft. So I had expectations for him. So this year, with Marley Rogers on the shelf, unfortunately, Cole Turner has no excuse not to show up. Because I think he can do good things. He just got to stay healthy and produce. And again, under Eric Bieniemy's offensive scheme, I think these all these guys, including the veteran Logan Thomas, is going to be able to shine. Um, so let's just say hypothetically for this video, the Washington Commanders are looking in the front free agent market. You know, I don't think they're going to do this. I don't think they should do this because there is nobody there. There's nobody there. There's three reasons why I don't think they're going to do it and they shouldn't do it. One, nobody's there, like I said. Only in three names that I would not mind, but even those guys aren't the best. That's Cameron Brake, 31-year-old guy, uh, former Tampa Bay Buccaneer. That would be a solid pickup, but... Again, I don't see them doing that. And 39-year-old Mercedes Lewis, uh, again, he's at the top of the list. So that should just tell you how bad the, the remaining free agent tight ends are. If 39-year-old uh, Mercedes Lewis is at the top of the list. And then Kyle Rudolph, former Tampa Bay Buccaneer and Minnesota Viking, 33-year-old guy. Those, those are the three guys that I would not mind having. But even I, though, I even... Really, I don't want those guys. I don't think Washington is going to be interested in the free agent market because it's bad. The the ownership sale is going on, so they're not going to be paying or nor extending anybody again. Um, and uh, we have a good crop. Like I said, we have a good crop of guys. Logan Thomas, Curtis Hodges, Cole Turner, John Bates. We got guys that can get it done. Logan Thomas, yes, he hasn't been the same since 2020, but a lot of that was due to injury. A lot of that was due to the scheme fit. A lot of that was due to Scott Turner not getting them involved. So I think it's going to be much better. And I think the tight end room, yes, Armani Rodgers is a big loss, but I think it'll be fine. You know, I think it'll be fine. So the people that are saying we should have drafted the, the, the tight end, I'm with you. I think we should have addressed tight end. You know how I felt about it. I wasn't too comfortable with it, but Ron Rivera was. So I'm with you with us drafting it, but drafting a tight end. But I don't want y'all to be like, see, this is the reason why we should have drafted Because, come on, let's be real. Nobody knew Amani Rogers was going to get hurt, right? Amani Rogers um, hurt his Achilles, tore his Achilles. Something happened um, with a non-contact injury. He was just running, and it happened. So, for people that's going to be like, see, this is why we should have drafted the tight end. We, come on, this is a freak incident, bro. It's OTAs in May. He didn't even get hit. So, again, that can happen to anybody. I don't wish it on nobody, but that can happen anytime, anywhere, bro. It's just unfortunate for Monty Rogers that it happened doing that kind of drill, man. So, it definitely sucks. Washington interested in any, any of these free agent tight ends? I don't see it. What about you, though? Do you think they'll be interested? Maybe if they see how this tight end group performs in training camp and preseason and if it's just not cutting it, maybe they try to poach some guys off of uh, other teams' roster or potentially find somebody in, um, on a practice squad or something to call up. I have faith in Logan Thomas. Really, I do. I have faith in Logan Thomas and Cole Turner. Um, and I think John Bates is better than what a lot of people give him credit for. Like, I'm fine with moving on from Logan Thomas after this year just because of his age, but I think he can be a sneaky target, like I said. You don't expect Logan Thomas to be Travis Kelsey. You don't expect him to be Dallas Goddard. You don't expect him to be Darren Waller. Like, you would love that kind of presence, but you don't expect that from a Logan Thomas. He's 31 years old, and he's never been that kind of tight end. He's a season safety blanket. One thing about Logan Thomas is he's going to catch the ball if it's thrown in his vicinity. He's going to be able to muscle through a defender. He's going to be able to be a red zone threat for Sam Howell. That's all you really want out of your tight end. Honestly, like again, I would love to have a Kyle Pitts. I would love to have a Darren Waller. I would love to have a, 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 a great tight end, but we don't. So we got to make it best of what we have. So again... Uh, Washington, I don't see them addressing the tight end room. I think they're fine with what it what it was, even though they did and addressed that this is a big blow. Ron Rivera loves this tight end group. Again, for whatever reason, he loves it because it hasn't produced much. He loves this group, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna back him on this one, all right? Because if it was Scott Turner still here, then I would be you know much more worried. But since we got Eb, you know, and I have a good feeling that he's able to get the best out of these players. I don't have confidence that we can find something in this tight end group to be good about. Again, remember Curtis Hodges was lighting it up last season, uh, you know, preseason and training camp before he got hurt. 
right? Cole Turner was solid, but he got injured. So, again, it's all about the health with that group, to be honest with you. Because, look, Logan Thomas was hurt, right? He was never really right um, when he played. Cole Turner got hurt. Remember the Chicago game? He had a concussion. He was really never right for the rest of the year. Obviously, Curtis Hodges got uh, injured. And you really didn't see. And you said, and Amani Rogers got hurt last year, too. So, it's about health, really, ladies and gentlemen. If we can find a way to stay healthy at the position, we may have something. So, that's another reason why I don't see Washington going after any tight end group, uh, tight end free agents. Because, one, again, it's nobody there. Unless one and the 39-year-old Mercedes Lewis. Two, the ownership sales going on. So I don't see him uh, signing or extending anybody. Three, we have a good crop, a good crop of young guys and a veteran leader. And then four, it's the health. So really, if these guys can find a way to stay healthy, we should be good. Because as much as we wanted uh, Monty Rogers to pan out and be that guy, technically speaking, Logan Thomas is still tight end one. Ron Rivera still views Logan Thomas as a very, very good tight end one hit. So, yes, I would have loved for Monty Rogers to, to have worked out this year, but he'll be back next year, you know, and we can see what we have then. But it was a blow, but it's not as big as a blow as as it doesn't have to be, if that makes sense. If Now, if we don't get no production out of this tight end group, then we're going to come back to this video and be like, Dang, I wish we had Armani Rodgers. But considering the fact that I have confidence in these young guys to potentially do something, and Logan Thomas, two Bambi veteran, I think we'll be all right. But what says you? Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Host for Washington Commanders. See you guys next time. I'm out. Peace. Uh, cross me one time. That's going to get you popped. Get you popped. Uh, get you dropped. Uh, I get me a hundred more shots in a 